An arrest in connection with a ballot box fire in Boston. Several ballots were destroyed early Sunday morning in the fire in Copley Square. Good afternoon, I'm Paula Eben. A police say they've arrested a Boston man connected to this incident. WBZ's Anna Myler has the breaking details. Secretary of the Commonwealth William Galvin is calling this a deliberate arson attack. He says this drop box outside of the Boston Public Library had 122 ballots inside when it was set on fire. Boston police just announced they have arrested a 39 year old man, Worldy Armand, for allegedly setting the ballot box on Boylston Street on fire around 4 a.m. Sunday. Well, I'm very angry. It is our intention to make sure that the individuals who did this are apprehended and prosecuted. Secretary Galvin says most of the ballots were not badly damaged, but about 5 to 10 were destroyed. He's urging people who use this drop box between 2.30 p.m. Saturday and 4 a.m. Sunday to check their ballot status online or by calling his office. We will also be doing outreach to all the people that we can identify and are seeking to identify to make sure they have the opportunity to re-vote if they wish to. Diane Smith had been planning to drop her ballot in this box as a way to avoid lines at the poll during the pandemic. Now she has second thoughts after learning it was torched. You know, what more do we have to contend with to vote safely this year? Mayor Marty Walsh issued a statement writing in part, what happened is a disgrace to democracy, a disrespect to the voters fulfilling their civic duty and a crime. We ask voters not to be intimidated by this bad act and remain committed to making their voices heard in this and every election. Secretary Galvin issued an urgent directive Sunday calling for increased security at drop boxes. If it's necessary to have police officers there, we need to deal with that. You can see that the box itself is not damaged and is still available to voters. Secretary Galvin is also asking for these boxes to be emptied more frequently. Reporting in Boston, Anna Myler, WBZ News.